Now let's focus on the use of the AED. You'll need to take a moment to familiarize yourself with the type of AED device used in your training class today. Although AEDs may differ slightly, there are four universal steps for operation. To begin, turn on the AED. Just open the carrying case or the top of the unit and simply power on the AED. Some devices will power on automatically when you open the lid. After that, attach the pads to the victim's chest by using the diagrams on the pads for correct placement. Some AEDs may have adult and pediatric pads. Be sure to use the adult pads on anyone eight years of age or older. If you're not sure of the victim's age, use the adult pads. You may also need to plug in the pads for certain models. Following the pictures found on the pads, attach the adhesive pads to the victim's bare chest. Place one pad to the side of the left nipple and the other on the victim's upper right chest directly below the collarbone. After the AED is turned on, some units will tell you to press a button for the device to analyze the heart rhythm. Others will analyze the rhythm automatically. The AED may take about 5 to 15 seconds to analyze the rhythm. The AED will deliver an audible prompt when it's ready to analyze the victim's rhythm, followed by a prompt to clear the victim. The rescuer should strongly repeat the command to clear, checking visually to be sure that all rescuers and people receive the command. Once the AED completes its analysis, if a shock is advised, it will charge and then prompt again to clear the victim. The rescuer should again repeat the command to those nearby. Loudly state something like, everybody clear or simply clear. And visually make sure that nobody is touching the victim, not even the person in charge of giving breaths. Then the shock can be delivered. Next, press the shock button. The shock may produce a sudden contraction in the victim's muscles. After the AED gives the shock, resume CPR immediately, beginning with chest compressions. Do not remove the AED or turn it off. The device will repeat the analyze and shock cycle about every two minutes. Follow the voice prompts of the AED. If at any time the AED indicates no shock is advised, immediately start chest compressions. You'll need to consider a few special situations when using an AED. First, if a victim has hair on his chest, the hair may prevent the pads from sticking. If your AED has only one set of pads, a razor should be included. You can use the razor to quickly shave the area and then apply the pads. If your AED has two sets of adult pads, you can apply one set to the hairy chest. If the hair prevents the pads from coming in contact with the chest, the AED should tell you to check the pads. If it does, press the pads down more firmly. If they still aren't sticking, rip the pads off forcefully, removing the chest hair. Then reapply a new set of the pads to the bare skin. Water on the victim's chest can also be a problem. It could allow the shock to travel through the water between the pads, ultimately preventing delivery of an effective shock dose to the victim's heart. If someone is lying in water, you should quickly move the victim to a dry area. However, if the victim is lying on snow or in a small puddle, you may use the AED. And if the chest is covered with water or sweat, wipe the chest before attaching the AED pads. But wipe the chest quickly. It doesn't have to be completely dry. Some people have an implanted pacemaker or defibrillator in the same place where you would put the AED pads. These devices look like a round or square lump, smaller than a deck of cards. If you see this lump, avoid putting the pad directly over it. Also, do not place the pad directly over a medicine patch. If a medicine patch is located where you need to place a pad, take the patch off and quickly wipe the chest before you put on the pad. If your workplace has an AED, you should familiarize yourself with that model. Regardless of the type of AED, remember to turn it on first and follow the audible prompts that will lead you through the rest of the steps. Additional emergency equipment may also be found in the AED, such as scissors, razors, wipes, gloves, and a barrier device. These items may also be found in a separate emergency or first aid kit. We'll pause here to allow you to get familiar with the AED in your class today. Your instructor will show you all that's included in the kit and demonstrate the correct way to place the pads on the victim.